So now let's talk about how to keep customers coming back. What you want to do is provide a high value product or service. And you know, that would sound like it goes without saying, but you want to make sure that you are actually staying on the track of continuous improvement. Always looking for ways that you can service your clients at a higher level and solve the issues or the problems that they have. So let's just say that you are a, uh, that you have a car detailing company, for example, and you are finding that a lot of times people are not able to um, utilize your services because of their, you know, because of scheduling issues. You may want to increase the length of your regular service hours in order to accommodate your client base. So that's an area that you can uh, continuously improve. You want to actually make sure that you are consistent. You want to develop and make sure that you are creating reliable results each and every time that you service your clients. So it shouldn't be a situation where one individual comes in and they have an amazing experience, um, you know, the, you know, everything is fantastic, and they refer you to a, a colleague or a friend, and the colleague or friend comes in and has a horrendous experience, and nothing is the same as what it was with the initial client. So you want to make sure that you're providing a consistent experience for all of your customers. Additionally, you want to make sure that your staff is engaging in teamwork. So whether or not you are a small uh, business, one man shop, or you have a large company, whatever the case is, you want to make sure that your the individuals that are on your team are all working in conjunction for the good of your customers. You want to create an environment within your organization that acknowledges that customers come first. Because, of course, if there are no customers, if no one's purchasing anything, there is no business. So you want to make sure that your team understands that concept. You want to make sure that you're engaging in periodic analysis of what is working and what isn't working within your business. And you want to also make sure that you are training your employees. Make sure that they understand exactly how to provide a reliable and consistent experience for your customers each and every time. And also that they are, you know, having a cheerful attitude. Uh, for example, there is a restaurant, I live here in Atlanta, Georgia, and there is a restaurant here uh, that is pretty popular. It's a, um, a soul food restaurant actually. And they always, they have each of their staff when uh, they're greeting the customer, they, they always make rec recommendations. Would you like to try some of our delicious fried chicken? Would you like to s try some of our um, delectable uh, sweet potatoes? Whatever the case is, they're always making the food sound extremely delicious, and that's part of their employee training. And it does make you, as the customer, feel like, hmm, okay, that sounds pretty good. So you want to make sure that you're you're giving that um, that type of positioning and uh, mindset training for your employees. You want to make sure that you, of course, you excel at customer service. And how can you do that? Number one, you can do it by being attentive and available, making sure that you're listening to your customer. What are their needs? What do they want? Make sure that you are accessible so that they can speak with you about what their challenges or concerns may be. Number two, you want to have patience. A lot of times when you're dealing with customers, they may not understand what is going on. They may have other issues going on in their own personal life. And so a lot of times in, when, you're, when you're interacting with your uh, clients or potential clients, they will come off, they may come off in a rude manner, they may come off in a nervous manner, they may come off all types of different ways. But the, the best way to handle that is to actually have patience and recognize that 
you are in the business of assisting this person in accomplishing their goals. And so if you are, con you are patient, if you are consistent, and actually listen to these uh, to your, your customer, you're gonna have a much better uh, response and experience uh, that your customer will have. Number three, you wanna communicate often and clearly, which means you should not be waiting until your customer is calling you repeatedly for an update. You should be able to communicate, you should have a system in place that will allow you to communicate effectively what is going on in their transaction. So if, if you are offering a product or a service that takes uh, a certain period of time to deliver, then you should have a system in place that is communicating that over time, be it via email, be it via text message, be it via a phone call, so that your customer knows exactly what is going on at all times. Number four, you wanna display a pleasant demeanor. So make sure that you, you know, when you're speaking with your customer, you know, don't sound like you're angry or upset to have them on the phone or you're frustrated. Make sure that you sound like you're pleased to be having them in your presence and, and to actually be doing business with them. That actually goes quite a long way. Number five, you wanna respond quickly and effectively. Again, don't wait until your customer is chasing you, you down trying to get answers. Make sure that you're being proactive at all times. Number six, fix mistakes and solve problems. There's always, you know, it's not necessarily that in business you, are, you have to be perfect. No one is perfect, no business is perfect but it really does go a long way when you're dealing with your customers, when you acknowledge any issues and you make, you make proactive steps to uh, fix those, those errors or those mistakes as quickly as possible. So make sure that you're taking the time to solve the issues, solve the problems of your customers in the most um, expedient fashion possible. Number seven, go the extra mile. Definitely, if you can assist your customer, don't get into the mindset that, you know what, they've only paid me for X, I'm only gonna give them X and that's it. You know, go above and beyond, go the extra mile, give more value to your customers than, than the money that they're actually paying for. And in doing that, you're actually sowing a seed that is going to allow them to feel that you actually care about them. It's gonna get them um, excited about your business, which is then going to get them talking about your business to their friends, their family, and their colleagues. So that's another way that can quickly grow your business. And always just put the customer first. You know, um, a lot of times when you're dealing, you know, when dealing with small businesses, we can get very caught up in our own profits and. You know, are we going to make our, our financial goals that we've set all these good things? But if you take the effort and take the, the mindset of putting the customer first, all of the goals of your business will naturally work themselves out because you are leading first and foremost with the interests of your customers in mind.